Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we're going to be starting off a new series which is called Top 5 in Zombies. So it's going to be Top 5 Blank in Zombies. So today the first video is going to be Top 5 Worst Bosses in Zombies. Now this is scanning through all the Call of Duties, uh, all the maps, everything you can think of and let's just kick it off with number Five. So number five is going to be the Margua from Shadows of Evil. Now most of you guys might rank this a little bit closer to the uh, the top of the list, but <clears throat> to me it's not really that bad. I mean they walk and the only time that they're really bad is whenever you shoot their head off. But I guess in overall comparing it to Shadows of Evil, it's one of the hardest things on the map. But in general, once you compare them all, it's not too too bad. So. I would label this thing as a high round killer just because most of the time whenever I play high rounds, the only way I die is to a Margua. Coming in at number 4, Brutus from Mob of the Dead. That's right baby, the prison guard. He is so annoying. Honestly, that's the only reason why he made this list. I don't really remember dying to him too much, but he's just so annoying. It knocks the perks out, and especially in the lower rounds, whenever you just have enough to buy all your perks, you can't be wasting your time spending money on unlocking a perk or unlocking the box from Brutus, and the only other thing is that the Wonder Weapon doesn't work with it. Also, with the Margwa, the Wonder Weapon doesn't work with it. Like, what the heck, Treyarch? Make a Wonder weapon be able to kill your boss next up coming in at number three is the inferno zombie from shangri-la now this thing right here is not always bad it's not always one of those things where i'm like oh man he's here it's the he's the silent night <laughs> you come up next to him and he kills you you are pissed because you're like what the heck why is this in here he walks He's on fire. He blows up. He kills you and other things. Like, And then it, it becomes like a fire trap after you kill him. And it's so annoying. You can die by him so easily. Uh, even if you have Jug, it's like you get smacked by him and it, like you're dead. That's about it. So coming in number two, the Pentagon Thief from the map five. Now this one's not too bad. And the reason why I ranked at number two and not anything a little higher is is because in the low rounds he is a warrior he will steal your gun and he has you chasing him through the entire pentagon teleporting with him trying to get your money back trying to get some other goods from him and it that's just not gonna work you know you it's it's a little bit easier in the high round and i rank this so high because if you play with noobs like if you play with randoms that you find online most of them are not going to know what to do whenever the pentagon pentagon thief comes they're not going to post up somewhere and everyone spray their guns at them they're just going to run away and uh whoever that he's chasing is just the unlucky bastard so coming in at number one what you guys have been waiting for now this is strictly my opinion you guys list could be a little bit different so um i want you guys to type your own list down in the comment section let me see what you guys think is bad just tell me what your number one is or just type out all five if you want to so coming in at number one we have the panzer or the panzer shrek from origins i think this is the most overpowered boss in all the lands i can't really imagine me struggling with any other one of these bosses i mean there's so many there's george romero like the one on this map that we're playing on Margwa, Brutus, Panzer, Pentagon Thief, Inferno, the Cosmonaut from Moon, the Screecher from Shangri-La, like, there's so many. Why, Treyarch, why do you have to put something as overpowered as the Panzer? Let, let me just tell you why he's overpowered. So, I was playing a very long time ago, I was going for a high round. We were on 60, it was a two-player. I ran out of ammo, right? So naturally, you're like, I'm gonna go get the other staff. Yeah, because there's four staffs, you're playing a two-player, there's another one open for you. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, you're like, you get the wind staff, and the electric staff, I'll get the ice staff, and the, uh, the fire staff. So, I'm going over there to get my staff, and all you hear <clears throat> is, or whatever the sound is, and he lands... I get sucked up to him, right? All I'm doing is knifing his little his little arm that's clawing me up. And he just sprays fire on me and I die just like that. I got all my perks, I die, and that pretty much ends the game. Like, that was the number one reason. I was so far away, he couldn't pick me up. 
He went to go look for me. Guess what happened to him? He got sucked up too, but luckily, he had a ray gun, which had full ammo, and he was able to get the little claw off of him, but guess what happened? As he ran away, the other thing that the Panzer can do is fly. The thing can fly. You can't run away from it. He seeks you. He knows where you're at at all times, and landed right in front of him, blasted him with some fire. He turned around, got smacked by some zombies, and died. That's how the game ended. Panzer, I hate you. And guess what? They're bringing it back into Eisendrahi or Draken or whatever they want to call it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this top five. <clears throat> it started out uh, a good series. I have a ton of ideas for this series. Uh, let me know some um, options below. Like, say, hey, do this top five or do a top five like this. And um, maybe I'll come around to it. It's all about zombies. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. My name's Aaron, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary.